In May, a French court decided to acquit the two policemen involved in the 2005 death of two Muslim teens walking home after a soccer game. The teens ran to escape the police officers who chased them in order to carry out an identity check. The young men were eventually electrocuted in a power transformer they had been hiding in. The death stirred intense protests when it happened in 2005. In France, the rate of police shootings involving people of Arab descent is on par with the kind of police violence that takes place in the United States against black communities. After the courts decided to acquit the officers, the mainstream media indifferently reported on the relief felt by the policemen on the one hand and the despair of the victims' families on the other. This is a significant contrast to the response of the mainstream media to the attack against the magazine Charlie Hebdo. While the Charlie Hebdo attacks are unjustifiable, the way in which police harass young Muslims and the resentment this fosters explains to a certain extent how such an attack could happen in France. The French mainstream media found it easy to condemn the Charlie Hebdo attack and have used it to further a discourse centered on Muslim terrorists. Yet when two Muslim teens are killed during a police operation, the deaths are only seen by the media and society as collateral damage of a necessary security enforcement policy.